Well, Rhode Island is used to having big name swimmers, and there's a boy from Middletown who might just be the next big thing to come out of the Ocean State. He's only nine, but Shea Sargent has shown a lot of promise in the pool, all while battling with a disease that isn't curable. Yesterday, I had the chance to meet up with the rising swim star. He's only nine years old, but Shea Sargent is already one of the best young swimmers in the country. It's fun, I guess, because I'm so fast at it. The kid from Middletown already loves that feeling of touching the wall first. Just gives you a good feeling about yourself. But last summer, Shea started to feel pain. On a 1 to 10 scale, it's like a 7. That meant trips to different doctors at different hospitals, but none of them could find anything wrong. Extremely helpless. I did not know what to do. Finally, Shea went to a geneticist at Hasbro Children's Hospital. That's where he was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS. EDS can be life-threatening, although luckily Shea's form isn't fatal. But there is no cure for what Shea has, although he's already trying to help find one. Me and my friend made a lemonade stand and we raised $97. One of the symptoms of Shea's EDS is hyperflexibility. Now watch, I'll try and put my foot over my head. <laughs> Not so good, right? Now show him what you can do, Shea. This gives him a definite advantage in the pool. Having that mobility in the shoulder, I think it helps him with his butterfly catch. Despite his condition, Shea's got the fastest 100 backstroke for his age in all of New England. And this past April, he placed second all around at a national meet in St. Petersburg, Florida. The accomplishments in swimming through a year of all the things that he went through, I just think it's amazing. By the time he's 16, 17 years old, he could have a much bigger name for himself. Someday Shea says he hopes to swim for Roger Williams and oh. become a marine biologist. So oh, that's he, cool. he's a fighter. You can